Reddit, what's your most interesting NSFW fact? Edward II had such a disastrous reign as King of England nearly 700 years ago that his enemies couldn't afford to keep him alive any longer, so they forced him to abdicate, imprisoned him and then had him assassinated by shoving a red-hot poker up his ass. He was then ironically nicknamed Edward Ironside. When Henry VIII wanted to bang his wife, he was followed by a procession of 30 to 40 people all important people had separate living areas and it took two plus hours for the bed to be prepared for the royal copulation. In the tip of your dick there is a little ridge that allows urine to pass in a uniform stream rather than a spray. Simply put, dicks are rifled. The left testicle hangs lower than the right on most men. If the right is lower, he's probably left-handed. My right is lower, and I'm right-handed. Let me check WebMD. It's cancer. It says I have network connectivity problems. If you hold your own thumb in its hand, your gag reflex disappears. If you get someone to lightly stroke poke your inner thigh, your testicles will ascend due to the cremasteric reflex. As of today, the gayest thing I've ever done was to cause hundreds of men to stroke their inner thighs. The use of ascend makes it sound like they'll go to some sort of higher testicular plane of existence. Experience tranquility. Kangaroos have not one, not two, but three vaginas. OK story time. One time my vet friend was taking care of a wallaroo wallaby kangaroo mix. It was hopping around just jamming along while we played Catan. Eventually, it came over to us and we started to play with it and pet and stuff. Well, my best friends held it and she told me to feel the inside of its pouch. The pouches aren't on the direct front of the tummy like the media would have you believe. It's more on the underside. Well, the wallaroo was a girl, and the pouch was velvety soft and warm so I continued to feel it. It felt pretty weird and cool. The wallaroo was really digging me feeling the pouch. It stretched out like a dog having its belly rubbed. My vet friend looked down and said something like, Hey that's not its pouch. I looked down and realized that for a solid 45 seconds I had been finger blasting a wallaroo and that little whore was really digging it. During the Lewis and Clark expedition, a lot of sex was had. Because of sex, STDs were spread, mainly syphilis. They thought that mercury was a cure for it. You can literally follow their trail by following the mercury levels in the areas they camped at. Promiscuity and poison paved their path. A guy can come at 25 miles per hour. The seam on your nutsack is where your vagina mended together when you were developing in the womb. That's nuts. In ancient Babylonian culture, every woman was expected to prostitute herself once in her life for the benefit of the goddess Mullisu. She would go her temple and would have sex with the first man that paid her and she was not allowed to refuse. All the pretty women would be out of there immediately but the deformed and ugly women would sometimes wait for three to four years waiting for a man to pay her. Some say that OP's mom is still waiting to this day. I don't know how interesting or NSFW this is, but coconut is a natural laxative. Remember that next time you're on vacation slamming pina coladas. Everything new I find out about coconuts just leads me to believe that they exist to make anal sex easier. Coconut is apparently a laxative to get you all cleaned out. Coconut oil is a great lubricant. Pina coladas to help the entire process along. If you like pina coladas. And anal sex with no pain. Alfred Kinsey was one of the pioneering researchers of human sexuality back in the 1940s and 50s. He also had a bad habit of shoving toothbrushes up his urethra and additionally he circumcised himself without anesthetic. I have to add to this. Bristles first. He shoved them up. Bristles first. Vaginas are self-cleaning and soap of any kind should never be put up into it. Many women use soap inside their vagina because they're trying to prevent themselves from stinking down there. However, putting soap in the vagina will only f*** with the pH and resident probiotics, thus actively causing the vagina to smell terribly. It then becomes a vicious cycle because the women will then use more soap inside to get rid of the smell, but that only makes it worse. 
nothing should go inside the vagina to clean it unless it's a medication or something prescribed by a doctor. Between the folds of the vulva, only water should be used close to the vaginal opening as soap can seep in. Soap can be used between the folds in the vulva so long as it stays good enough away from the vaginal opening. If your vagina is stinky and you haven't been shoving soap, other cleaning products, other things up there at all, you might have an infection but not necessarily an STI. Vaginas aren't supposed to smell awful naturally. Natural musk. Yeah, sure. And some women are stronger smelling than others. However the smell should never be putrid. If it is, see a doctor ASAP. Orchids are named after the Greek name for testicles. I am very late with this but, the average human erection has enough blood to fill three gerbils. In ancient Egypt when a beautiful woman died they would let her corpse rot for three days in the sun before sending the body to the embalmer. This was to discourage necrophilia. One male produces enough sperm in two weeks to impregnate all the women on the planet. We need to find this male and keep him away from our women. Spartacus' entire army of 6,000 slaves were crucified along a 120-mile road leading into Rome following their uprising, as a message to anyone else who thought of daring to defy the empire. Finally one that isn't about dicks. Crucifying 6,000 people makes you a dick. Polar bears have actual bones in their penis, which they need as they tend to lose their erection before they can ejaculate into the female to impregnate them. Also, pollution is causing said bones to deteriorate, which is causing polar bears to break said bones during intercourse, which some believe might cause the species to become endangered. Polar bears becoming endangered is awful and everything but I can't stop shuddering about breaking your dick during sex. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. The world record for longest cum shot is 18 feet. I'm curious. Did they just have a guy from Guinness come out and watch the dude beat his meat or what? Hello Guinness. I would like to set the cum shot record. Later. What? That wasn't even close to the record. I have a fetish you've helped me satisfy. Vlad the Impaler. Didn't stake people through the heart, he impaled them through the butt. A large log would be sharpened, and a person being punished would be placed on top, naked. They would then slide down the log over a series of days. This is a common one a lot of people already know, but I love the creativity this man had. That's pure f torture. The barnacle has the largest penis to body ratio of any animal. I can only assume you're referring to Barney Stinson. Amazon dolphins are the only animals known to engage in nasal sex. The vagina and the eyes are the only two self-cleaning organs in the body. What about my hands? Check and mate. You named your hands. When snails have sex they simultaneously penetrate each other's vaginas. Snails have dicks and vaginas while stabbing each other with mucus darts. Kinky. The average blue whale penis is 13 to 15 feet long. Also when two blue whales get it on, a third whale is needed to keep them from sinking. Hence the saying I don't want to be a third whale. Pompeii was so completely and utterly filled with porn when they first uncovered it during the pre-enlightenment era, so they locked it up again for 200 more years. They eventually collected all the sexual stuff and hid them away in secret museums that only scholars were allowed into. National Pleasure, starring Nick Cage. Spotted hyenas are one of the few mammalian matriarchal societies, with females outranking all male hyenas in a clan. This is because they typically show dominance through shows of aggression, using their pseudopenis and increased size. These penises have pseudoscrotums and testes, are capable of erection, and work as an excellent defense against rape. The most dominant females are the ones that typically mate. However, birth typically splits open the clitoris and a lot of the structural similarities fall away until it properly heals. Apparently, first-time hyena mothers have an approximately 50% chance of accidentally suffocating their first cub in their pseudopenis during birth. Jesus. What a way to die. Choking on your mother's dick. Yeah. And yet I'm sure there's a subreddit for that. Why do I go on this site? Everyone's anus wrinkles are as unique as their fingerprint wrinkles was a recent till. Found a new way to unlock my iPhone. If you slap a nipple, it will get hard within 7 seconds. Works on males and females. 
My wife did not appreciate being woken up. Also, I can't confirm the theory because she moved to the spare room in less than 7 seconds. Cum isn't water soluble. Also, tampons are the number one cause of sewer backups. Number two is tree roots. And number three is number two.